Let's continue talking about mirroring with an additional type of mirror. Another new part. This time, let's draw a circle on the right plane from the origin. Give this a four inch diameter. And now I'll extrude this, but as a part of extruding, one thing I'm going to do is make it a thin feature and give this a thickness of 0.5, where the thickness goes to the inside. And the next thing I'm going to do, this is the mirror part. I'm going to use the mid-plane option. Mid-plane allows us to make a symmetrical part just using the extrude command. So this is going to be symmetrical about the sketch plane. This is nice because it's symmetrical in all directions, partially because of the shape and partially because of the mid-plane extrusion type. Now, if we add a feature to one end, let's open a sketch on this side, and I'll sketch a rectangle from the quadrant over here. I'll inference the quadrant up here. Might have to add a couple of sketch relations, such as a midpoint relation, and then give this a height of 3.5 inches. And I don't want to have this line show up inside the hole. So what I'm going to do again is click on this edge, use the convert entities. Remember, convert entities is easier to use when you pre-select an edge. If we look at this in 3D, we can see what's going on here. I'm going to trim away this part of the circle and this part of the straight line. There's a midpoint relation, and yes, I'm going to get rid of that. But now I've made a mistake because the rest of my sketch has turned blue. So I'm going to hit Escape first to get out of the Trim command, and then Control-Z to put back that sketch line. I realize that I don't really need to get rid of it. What I need to do is to make it into a construction line. So I'll click on it and use the construction geometry toggle in the pop-up or the for construction option in the property manager. Either one will accomplish the same task. Now this gives me an enclosed sketch so that I can extrude a solid and it's going away from the part here. I don't want that because if you look at what that does for me, it'll give me just a very thin in fact, a zero thickness edge between these two features. So I want this to go the other direction and say, OK. Now, this part is no longer symmetrical. I've created a new feature. Let's add a mirror feature and mirror about the right plane. In Features to Mirror, I'll just select on the Boss Extrude feature and click OK. Now if I go through and make some additional features such as small fillets or anything else, there will be one of two things that I'll have to do. Either I can select all of the additional edges to make this symmetrical, or I can just reorder the mirror feature. So what I can do now in the mirror feature is edit it and select the fillet as well to be mirrored. Now, I just want to point something out here. If I were to do something like this, say, select on this face, open a sketch, use the offset command to offset to the inside by a certain amount, let's say this much, and then let's create a circle in here and give that a dimension, and then trim. This, that, this, and that. Okay, and now make a cut in here that's a certain depth. Okay, now do you see what I've done wrong here if I want to mirror this to the other side? What I've done wrong is that the mirror geometry is over here, and so I've actually created this new feature on the mirror geometry. In order to get this onto the other side, I would have to create a separate mirror feature, which is bad modeling practice because if you keep making mirror features unnecessarily, then you're just confusing your model. So let's take a look at how I might fix this. 
First, I want to show you that it really is a problem. If I take the mirror feature and I try to drag it down after the cut, it says the cut extrude could not be created by this sketch. Please check that the sketch extends past the body limits. Okay, so it actually did allow me to move the mirror, but it didn't allow me to make that feature. So one thing I could do is edit the feature, and you notice as soon as I get into the sketch, there's a whole lot missing from the sketch. So we're going to have to repair the sketch, this time using edges of the original flange to do that offset. And then we can do the trim. Use the power trim in this case. Just hold down the cursor and zoom through here. What's undefined about this? Well, the center isn't located, so we'll just drag that onto the origin. So let's roll this back and try to fix the cut. The first thing we need to do is move the sketch. So I'm going to right click on the sketch and edit sketch plane. And instead of using the end of the cylinder, I'm going to use this end. And now the sketch is good, but the cut fails. And this is because the cut is going the wrong direction. If we edit the feature, notice it's coming out this way. So we can turn it around and make it go the other way. And now mirroring still doesn't mirror the cut. So what we have to do is edit the mirror and add the cut to the list of features to be mirrored.